queen of all things scary, Yvette Fielding is ghost hunting with Paul O'Grady and three of his City of Culture friends, Natasha Hamilton, Philippe Olivier and Jennifer Ellison. They've come to the Italian city of Palermo to hunt for spooks in three of the city's most haunted locations. Having had the willies put up them in the creepy Carini castle <laughs> and terrifying Massimo Theatre, <laughs> They are now investigating the horrific Capuchin catacombs, which houses around 8,000 dead bodies, many of them hanging mummified on the walls. Unused to being confronted by death in such a full-on manner, everyone, including Yvette, have struggled to cope with their emotions. I am terrified. Believing that the ghost hunt is an affront to those laid to rest here, Jennifer Ellison has refused to carry on preferring to spend her time with Professor Jeffrey Beatty in the safety of the taxi. I just... I got very upset. So from your point of view, the kind of ghost and explanation for that? Yeah. 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 Paul, Phil and Natasha have bravely followed Yvette to the catacombs embalming room in order to communicate with the ghosts believed to dwell there. Oh, did you hear that? It's mm. a man's voice. Did you hear it? I did hear it. It's behind that wall. It's it so is? Behind that wall. <gasps> Tap it. Bang it. Ooh. Can you throw something? Or make a noise? Not a bone or a skull. Yvette is hoping to make contact with the spirits by using what is known as a planchette. It is a mount for a pen supported by two casters. It is believed that when fingers are lightly placed on the planchette, that spirits will guide the pen in order to spell out words or draw pictures as a means of communication with the living. Okay, you ready? What do we do? Put I'm your finger on this. the planchette, one hand on the thing. You can oh, change your hand. Doing. You're safe. Yeah. You are safe, you're protected. Please, if there are any spirit people here with us now, come towards us, come towards the centre of this table. Please communicate with us. Let us know that you are here. Please push this pen. Push the pen around. Perhaps you can make a letter or a number or a sign with this pen to let us know that you are here. We don't mean you any harm. Come towards us now. Any spirit people in this... Come towards us now. Come towards the centre of this table. Oh, did you feel that? Mm. It's under the table. Come towards us now. Oh, that was like a laugh. That was a laugh. That was a laugh. Exactly. That like was a man's way. laugh. Oh, well, buena sera. Buena sera. Please isn't laugh it, with us. Isn't it standard in Italian? OK. Please, can you move this pen? Did you feel that, Phil? Yeah, I did. I just don't want to know. There's a wow. bang under the planchette, like a little bump. With Yvette's finger now no longer on the planchette, she calls out again to the possible spirits. Come on, please push the planchette. There we go. Thank you. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, don't you? Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. Guys, you don't really much know. No, I swear, honestly, I haven't, what, oh. I haven't come this far to be pushing things in the middle of the night. Oh, Lord. That's all I keep saying. Grazie. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's all right, it's positive, it's positive, it's positive, it's positive. Okay. I've hardly got my finger on it. I can't do this. The movement of the planchette is clearly unsettling both Paul and Phil. You all right, Phil? Yeah, it's just, it's when that was happening, it's just, it, 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 I don't know what it was, right through your body. Yet. I know. I know. But it's Natasha that is finding it hardest to cope. You can't do it. No, I think I need to leave them. You sure? Yeah, sure. Okay. Definitely sure. All right. Definitely sure. Do you want to join someone to help? Don't leave me on me. No, you won't. You won't. You won't. You won't. You're here. <laughs> I don't want to get on No, no. No, we'll get someone to go with you. Okay, can somebody please go with Natasha? 
With Natasha feeling the need to flee, it only leaves Yvette, Paul and Phil to carry on the investigation. Oh, it's like a baby crying. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, God, go on, old. go on, Phil. Huh? I don't know, is there anything there? Just on my shoulders, I'm feeling just oh. the worst chill. Phil, she's better. I'm, I've got, I can feel the belt. I'm, I'm seriously in my coat. You know what Charles oh, makes things on your belt? Mm -hmm. Listen. Sweetheart, Carol, Mio. Upstairs, Natasha attempts to gather her thoughts. I've never shook so much with fear. The pen, the thing, the, the pen was going round in circles. I can't talk, I can't, I can't. Completely scared witless, Natasha retreats to the taxi and the ever calming Jeffrey Beatty. <laughs> what's, what's, what's it's happened? so funny. What? I've never shook with fear like that in my life. I had to leave because I felt like my legs were going to buckle. God. And, and how, how's Paul and Philip then there? Scared. Scared as well, yeah. Philip's really scared. He's not, he doesn't like it. Right. Um, Paul's talking, it's reacting. You're, you're saying you wanted something to happen, but... I just, I don't even know what to say. I just, I honestly just do not know what to right. say. Um, like, you can hear people, like, talking almost, like, something, like, laughed. There was, like, mm -hmm. whimpers, but the planchette was... Spinning. I just can't explain it. Yeah. It wasn't a good experience. The worst experience of my life, actually. Really? Absolutely terrified. So do you finish for the evening then? I am done. <laughs> I am over. Ghost hunting officially. Career as a ghost hunter is over. No, I'll stick to singing, thanks. <laughs> Back inside the catacombs. Oh, that was right here. Yeah. That She's was here. right She's here. here. Listen, Sweetheart, where's the... Code the yeah, I know. Where are you? Where, where are you here? She's here. Listen. Yvette, Paul and Phil believe they've made contact with the spirit of Rosalia, the two-year-old girl who was interned here back in 1920. You clever girl, Rosalia. Ah. Oh. Let her, let, her, let her do it again, look, let her do it again. It's great. Keep still. Sounds like it's coming from here. She's tapping under the table, she's tapping on here. Rosalia. Listen. Rosalia. Listen. Yeah. Hello. Oh, Carol. Believing that they have the ghost of Rosalia on their side, Yvette is keen to see if they can make contact with the other spirits said to haunt the catacombs. You know what I think we should do now? What? I think that we should... Go on all the to schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Let's the three of us do a walk round, call out, yeah? Yeah. Keeping an eye on Paul and Phil from outside in the taxi is Professor Geoffrey Beaton. It's fascinating watching how quickly human behaviour can change sometimes, and I think Philip's behaviour in this situation is truly remarkable. I think going over the threshold of the catacombs was a bit of a transformational experience for him. I think he's heard a few noises now, and his behaviour seems to be changing dramatically. And he starts pacing up and down. This is the most basic human survival mechanism at play here. He wants to flee that situation, but he's socially constrained to staying there. He can't get out. And it's interesting that for Paul, humour is very absent in this situation, except in his little quip about going to Skegness. You know what I think we should do now? What? I think that we should... Go on all the to Skegness. Yeah. <laughs> Humour doesn't kind of work here in the presence of dead bodies. With Paul O'Grady, a very witty, sharp chat show host, he doesn't know what he can draw upon to help him in that situation. Oh, Lord. That's 
all I keep saying. Grazie. And I think what we've seen here is sophisticated, mature adult human beings stripped to their psychological bones, so to speak. Back down in the catacombs, our group of sophisticates have moved to the area that houses the priests. But unfortunately for Paul, his opening line to the spirits, believed to reside here, is anything but sophisticated. If there's anybody here... Um, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm because you're shitting yourself. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> can, can you show us a sign? <laughs> I don't want to see any signs. <laughs> Struggling to communicate in English, the gang try again in Italian. Buonasera. Buongiorno. If there are any spirit people with us, Ciao. <laughs> please that? talk to us. There's something down there. Listen. There's a lot. Coming up, Phil reveals that Italy is not the place for him. Another way I said thanks for bringing us here. I'll fucking take it all back. Paul seems more worried about how he looks. Look, look at me effing coat. That was in a tight knot. I tied that in New York because I can't bear belt flapping that. And it looks like Phil is not such a big sceptic after all. I believe, I believe. 